Hey everybody, it's Moth here and welcome back to Cobblemon. So today we've got something super exciting. You can see that I'm here in my lab again and we are breaking down the latest Cobblemon version 1.14.1 that dropped on December 23rd, 2023. Get ready because there are some pretty cool additions to the game. First up, we've got a new feature that's been on the wish list for quite some time now, battle spectating. You can now press R on a player in a heated Pokemon battle to spectate, even throw in a funny little comment or two about their tactical choice. It's like a ringside seat to the Pokemon showdowns. Moving on, we've got some adorable new additions to the Cobblemon family, the Litwick and Drifloon lines. These ghostly Pokemon bring a whole new dynamic to battles, and I can't wait to see how players incorporate them. And that's not all, Cobblemon has now teamed up with Adorn, unlocking the ability to craft Apricorn wood furniture, so you can spruce up your, your Pokemon center or your base with these really cool newly added furnitures to craft. And for berries, they're not just repeating your Pokemon and making potions anymore, now you can use them in recipes from the mod Farmer's Delight as well as any other mods using the same berry tags. So craft away everybody. And speaking of crafting, have you ever wanted to make a boat out of apricorn wood? Well, now you can. Boats, signs, and hanging signs are all now craftable with the apricorn blocks and I honestly think they look pretty unique compared to the rest of the woods in the game. Let's not forget the new held items which are the fairy feather, the smoke ball, the cleanse tag, the life orb, and the toxic orb. These additions added a little bit of a more strategic turning point in Cobblemon so you can actually build your teams just a little bit better. And lastly, for the collectors out there, there are three new pavilion patterns, Inferno, Void, and Forsaken. Each can be obtained by evolving a Spoopa in the Nether and or Deep Dark respectively. Gotta catch them all, right? Now, let's talk changes. Potion lovers, beware, because using potions, status heals, ethers, and antidotes will now return a glass bottle. It's time to recycle and save the environment, even the world of Pokemon. But fear not, trainers. Using a remedy, fine remedy, or superb remedy will no longer lower friendship with your Pokemon. And, you know, we're all about getting our favorite evolutions and getting those easy evolutions and not ruin it by just the use of some remedies. So it's, that's super nice. In addition to the held items that were added in this patch, we also get the EXP share, which was already in the game, but it's much simpler of a recipe now. So it's very, very obtainable when you want to build your teams. This is one for the Turtwig fans out there. Turtwig can now ride a shotgun on your shoulder. It's a small change, but I think it adds an extra touch of companionship. I think out of all the starters, it's a great it's a great starter to put on your shoulder and a few new pokemon models got a makeover the zubat line is looking very nice with updated models textures and animations the geodude line also got a facelift making them more visually appealing in battles and drum roll please animations have been added for hitmon top tyrogue mightyena and they tweaked a few others too like dust noir rotata beware executor they're looking sharper and even more dynamic than ever there have been a few complaints with the 1.4.0 update but most of those are fixed if not all of them the team has updated a ton of new pokemon's cries animation causing crashes and even quaxwell finally got his voice so there's no more awkward silence there is also the correction of health not showing properly whenever you would heal on the battlefield and if you guys are tech savvy the team has added tab completion for statuses to commands it's the little things that make a big difference, right? Well, those are the new changes in the 1.4.1 Koppelmon update. And I just think from battle spectating to the not touchable in-game Drifloon and Litwick line, there's something for pretty much everyone out there. And I'm really thrilled to see how this changes the game and where the team will go in the future. I love Cobblemon and I love playing with my friends and just this server makes so happy to play on. If you guys want to see more of these little tips and tricks, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and I'll catch you guys later. So peace.